Good morning. Good day. We're going to do a drawing challenge today. It is the Daily Drawing Club, after all, the raddest drawing club on the planet. If you're re-watching and you're in the rewatch squad, check in with a comment down below. Let me know that you are here. Love seeing your comments. If you have any questions, you can also drop those in the comments or in the live chat. I'll draw about, I'll, I'll, I'll write, um, I'll talk about those live <laughs> as I'm drawing. So we do some art tips and advice as usual. And there was a question that came in about what advice do I have for artists who feel overwhelmed by the digital ages saturation of content and competition. I actually pasted the actual <laughs> quote directly in there. So maybe we want to talk a little bit about that today. I'll get to that near the end. But for today, drawing challenge is, I think this is a fun one. <clears throat> it is making faces from random shapes. Now this is a good one for artists of all calibers. So if you're a old school artist or already drawing, but it's also good for people who are just starting like to realize like, oh, I could do this too. So I'm gonna draw some random faces today. Go ahead and set my timer. Yeah. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Sarah. <clears throat> Steph, over in the chat. Happy Monday, We're starting a new week here. And I'm just gonna get right into the drawing today. Turn down this music just a little bit. Put on my chill chill music all right so drawing from random shapes now i could probably just can i just zoom in on those yeah i probably could i'm just going to use these shapes and kind of just demonstrate for people that might be <clears throat> kind of like oh how do i draw that and um what I do is make those random shapes, right? And then I'll do basically the center line of the face. Actually, those are a little bit, a little bit low resolution. So let me just go ahead and just demonstrate real quick here. I'm doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and draw some random shapes. Do a fat one and kind of a tall one. Maybe like a messed up looking one. I like the triangle ones, right? And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and find an eye line. And, you know, it might be typical to try to start in the center like that. Wait, I can't see the, can't see the gray. There we go. Let's do it with red. So you could just start like this if you wanted to. Just do the cross, the cross. So this is your center line of the face, and this would be your eye line. It's a great place to start. So if you can draw shapes like this, you could draw for sure. So you could just start like that. You gotta put that eye line down a little bit low. And then, you know, <clears throat> it's just about getting in here on the eye line. I'll just draw like a random two eyes about equally set apart. Let's go with, you can see that. I'm gonna kind of just jump around here a little bit. Maybe sometimes they're just on the eye line. All right. Oh, this one's like brooding for sure. He's got like a, you can already kind of see it. Looks like a little bit. We'll get to the nose in a minute. I'm gonna kind of just jump around a little bit. <laughs> This is a fun exercise to do. Actually, I love these exercises where if you're stuck at a day job or, you know, talk about that a little bit too, is one of the reasons I like to draw in the morning. And we repeat it often here is, you know, draw a little something for yourself first in the morning before you go off to your work and just kind of have fun. And then if you're, if you're stuck at work and you're like, oh man, I'm on these meetings all day or something like that, that's a lot of people that are, you know, frustrated. So let's do the nose first on that one. 
I'm gonna come back around. If we wanna have the nose come off of his eyes like that. And then for this one, maybe his nose kind of start, maybe it's just a little more pointy. All right, I'm just kind of moving around here to keep it interesting. <clears throat> Morning, Ken. Morning, David. Steph says this type of challenge is my fave along with the scribble challenge. Yeah, it's definitely like the pareidolia thing where you could see like that shape kind of come up. And again, this is kind of how some of our favorite cartoons and things develop over time just from these random shapes. And I'm just jumping around here to kind of show that it's the same concept for any kind of shape. Any kind of shape that you draw, like if someone just draws you a random shape like that, you could put an eye line right there center line of the face and now we got maybe just two little things like that and you almost have like an expression going like a hmm right for cartoons right like but that's that's good i talked to some like you know fancier artists i guess and they're like well i don't do cartoons and i'm like well <laughs> I don't know what to say to that actually i'm just like well i think i think it's a good way to like explore your imagination a little bit let's just finish this this guy out here first and then like of course there's like a mouth about equally centered so i'm just going to kind of draw his sometimes just make him look in the other way it looks pretty bored actually that's just the, you know, what if we just kept him, what if we keep this guy bald? Cause he's got a pretty good, pretty good head there. Maybe a little chin. You can see how you just build up from that shape and then put on the, sometimes I'll make the eyebrows like that. Sometimes I'll make them just a line. Sometimes we want some wrinkles in the forehead and I might erase that center line there right <clears throat> but this is really cool to do exercise wise even better when you can like have someone else draw a bunch of random shapes and then you're just like wowing them you know sometimes i'll start with the mouth from that like center line off of it my, my guys all look like they haven't had enough coffee today. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get into some. Then this one, I might just draw some hair on. So I'm just going to, again, some like random shapes and make it make sense later. It's fun. And here we've got like a skull looking dude. And it starts to get fun. I like to draw, you know. I even want to like start his mouth way up higher like that. Get kind of a mega chin. Actually kind of reminds me of we just saw that movie. Poor things and uh, William Defoe in it kind of has a chin like that. He plays God Godwin, which I think was kind of like Frankenstein's monster. Anyways, that's kind of what that's reminded me of. And this is the whole point of you know here it is. It's only seven something in the morning, seven oh nine. Just been on here for like just ten minutes. And um, with these random shapes, drawing, you know, I'm not a big fan of that. Big fan of that. The ears coming off kind of low. This is looking like this guy was like sewn together in different parts. Uh, 
yeah so this is a great exercise to do even if you're just exploring facial expressions you know let's just give this guy some uh did I go really big or what? What happened to this project? Oh man. There we go. The classic cartoony stubble. Let's do that. Maybe a little bit. Someone shaved his hair in the middle of the night. Who knows? Not happy about it. Here we've got like a little mastermind guy. Looks like a Dick Tracy character. You can see where you're familiar with those old Dick Tracy comics. It's very similar to what Chester Gold did to create some of those, you know, classic looking head shapes. A lot of his characters had, and you got, you know, pretty good accolades for doing that like it was seemed very you know what well, was very uh, innovative for the time different that guy kind of looks like frankenstein too we got a lot of frankenstein a lot of like tired looking people and mad and cranky let's make a let's make a more of a happy guy here. Let's do that. Now he's had too much coffee, sort of thing. That's fun. Let's give him like a side haircut. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun to just do those quick, quick movements, and then suddenly you start to be like, okay, I like this guy. You know, this guy's cool. This guy's uh, questionable. This looks like a donor that I knew in high school. <laughs> right. It's just fun to explore with a Team Frankenstein. Right. <laughs> flat top. Yeah, flat top from uh, Dick Tracy, right? It was a good, good character. Yeah, so yesterday on the channel, I did the live stream at noon for the two-year anniversary of Draw or Die. So if you hadn't checked that out, check that out. Two years of encouraging artists. Maybe we'll make these at the ears. That's kind of that's going for me. This is a little weird, ratty-looking dude. Henchman or something. Yeah, so two years of guard. I don't usually like big celebration or anything. It's just like it's just gonna keep going. Um, and this is part of it. You know, daily drawing club. See how long I can keep it up. My son told me yesterday I have to do a hundred of these in order to get good at it. So thanks, Dylan. He watches every one. And again, if you're watching in the rewatch, because we got a lot more rewatchers than live, of course, we only have 11 people live, but 11 is pretty good for us, you know, seven in the morning. Some of you are in Europe, I'm sure. We have a couple people checking in from India, usually. <laughs> Lola, good morning. She's awake, live. <laughs> Today was making faces from random shapes. And the um, drawing prompts come out 5 a.m. every morning. We have the daily drawing club. So you can see that. I'm sure, probably. Yep. So let's kind of look back. All right, Dan got his in. He's drawing them now. Awesome. We've got the Discord here. It's free for um, everyone, but we also have the members only club. So the other day we did the fit check. Larry's got his. BG has his. Um, Bit check in that's good awesome that was a fun one i think maybe we'll do another fit check this week with a different which uh era 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 <laughs> era which era of time should we do 
for a fit check this week. Put it in the chat. Let me know. Um, yeah, so we've got stuff going on. I like to see people's work in progress. Sock Rocka. It's just nice to see like different styles of art. Also, something I didn't mention that's pretty cool is that you guys have this um, trading card, um, artist trading card swap going on over there. Really want to get involved in that somehow. I just don't have time to do it right now. But it's pretty amazing the the work that you guys are trading together and collecting and it just kind of happened organically and super cool. And there's tips in here for how to cut your own art, all that stuff. Like it's pretty cool. It's a good community. So if anything, we made a great little club of artists helping each other out. So, um, yeah, so join that. That's only five bucks a month, 16 cents a day or something like that. I'm DJ Kaufman on all the platforms today. I'll be at, I will be doing a special, um, I'll be drawing the comic strip V friends. I'm the comic comic strip artist on V friends. And that's going to be at eight 30. I forgot to put the time on here. Eastern time on TikTok today. Only TikTok on the V friends, TikTok. I'm doing the comics and coffee. So I'll be working on some comic strips live. Okay. So the question today, and you guys might want to talk it out in the, um, Discord link. I don't think I put it in the uh, show notes. There's a Discord link in yesterday's video. So I haven't updated the show notes yet on this one, but um, player two, uh, we'll get you, we'll get you in there. Check some of the descriptions on the other videos. You should be able to find it. Um, <clears throat> what advice do you have for artists who feel overwhelmed by the digital age of saturation of content? So let's just talk about this real quick. So saturation of content and competition those are two different like the the pressure to um the pressure to put out content is big i know i talk to a lot of artists and we have some in the club too they're just kind of like overwhelmed with like the idea that you have to post every day and but you don't have to so that's my point to to today's question would be don't feel like you have to compete so that other word competition, like if you don't post and like whatever, and you're like always looking at someone else's stuff, I would say like, don't stop that. Like only look at other people's artwork if you want to be inspired, but don't be like, how did that artist pop off with millions of views and I'm doing the same thing and I've been posting every day for whatever. And it starts to feel like, well, like but really what are you trying to do with your art? really like is it you know in, in your mind do you feel like you're going to hit it big and like hit some kind of big um uh, award there are no awards the award is the the journey like the drawing part so just that it makes you feel um good when you draw every day and um but the advice I would have, like my advice is pretty just straightforward. And it's like, stop thinking about that. Like if you're feeling overwhelmed by it, just take a, take a step back and think about it and be like, you know, I'm going to go, how about instead of, you know what, this is a really good tip. It's just hit me because I'm going to do these live, right? Instead of feeling overwhelmed about like, I didn't post today or whatever, whatever, shut that completely off and don't post instead dedicate yourself to posting one drawing a day in your own little notebook, right? And don't show anybody and just dedicate yourself to doing that every morning. Or I would suggest in the morning when you can before work or whatnot, school or whatever you're doing. Um, and make sure you stick to it, stick to it for like a month, do it for 30 days, draw something, draw little hands, draw random faces from shapes, even if it's 10 minutes a day and then see how you feel. And then you're going to get that confidence back. I think where you're not, you've got your own thing going on and you're not worried about competition with other artists or that your stuff's being buried in a mountain of, we're all doing that. We're doing that even here on YouTube. There's a million different drawing videos out there and uh, we're just a little tiny plink in the pond. But I'm talking to you guys, if you're here listening to it, then that's all that matters, right? 
So, um, competition, forget it, man. You know, let's draw some more shapes here real quick. Got a couple more minutes in my stream. Check out the thoughts in the chat here. Player two says, always keep focus on the way you're creating, focusing on other concepts of saturate or saturation because the digital won't help your grind on becoming better than you are before. Yeah, exactly. And also the self-awareness part. Like if I go, you know, I really suck at drawing feet. Then I'm not, I'm not going to sit and complain about other people's art or their success or whatever. I'm going to, it's weird. See, I'm just kind of zoning out now. It's got me. I'm kind of in the zone where I just want to draw and not talk. So this is, this is going to be me drawing the rest. No. Um, Instead of worrying about other stuff, you might think like, well, I've got a couple more minutes left. I'm going to work on, you know, a foot here. You know, if you suck at feet, like this will be the baby toe and the little toe. And some people have weird, I have weird toes. So weird toe there. Mine's more of a cartoony foot. But if you want to get more, if you want to say like, well, I want to work on an actual you know, polished looking foot, you know, you can get in here and just practice. Nobody has to see it. You know, I think I just put six toes on that foot accidentally, but it's a giant's foot. I didn't. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that six toed foot. No one saw that. You didn't see that in the sketch there, right? Yeah, just work on different things that you're, that you need to work on for yourself or even better, I'll tell you something else that's kind of cool. Just surprise your friends with drawings, with no anticipation for anything. Just be like, hey, I drew this for you. Just email them or DM them something. Or DM them like, hey, what do you think? Like, hey, remember that time we did this? Like draw this little situation, you know, or something. Um, and then I, the more I go, the more I start to see people as like punk, punk, old punk rockers at, at clubs and stuff. I think I know this guy. I think I just saw this guy recently. He's gonna have one of those. Let's do it. Let's just drop an old. Get these little lobes. Things. And then this guy wants to get in on the action too, so he's like, hey, that looks cool. I wanna do that. No? How about a pierced um, a pierced eyeball? Look at that. Now he's the guy that works at like the weed shop or something. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you just start flushing them out a little bit over time. This guy looks like someone. Like a character. It's fun to do. It's fun to. This guy's going to have like a window into his brain. So now my imagination's, you know, running wild. He's gonna have like a little window and you're gonna see his brain in there. Just bubbling in there. I'm gonna change his, change his eyes a little bit to be like, he's thinking. Hmm. Right. Yeah. And honestly, won't lie, like it feels good to sit here. I do this. I would do this randomly without being on a stream. And I feel pretty good right now. I feel like, cool. I've done this for 24 minutes and talked to you guys. And it feels pretty, uh, pretty great. 
Let's say like also remember I'm gonna try my best to if you go to the website, if you go to the channel, some of the streams, I think all of the streams for this week, the remainder of the week should be up. So through Friday. Um, and if you click one, you can actually set a reminder. So if you subscribe and then there'll be like a set a reminder button. Whoa. Okay. Do that. Um, somebody was asking me how to know, like this one's live in 47 hours on March 20th. It'll tell you. So like always just go to that. Um, isn't this funny too? Like we're at 6,660, almost 6666. It's actually 6667 right now. I tried to take a picture. No, not that we're evil or anything like that. I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, if you, if you click this live tab up here, oops, no, I just subscribed to my, no. If you click the live tab across, you're going to find all the lives. The previous lives are there, so you can do a rewatch. And it's pretty interesting to me to see which ones kind of got more views than the others, like tips on drawing hair got the most. Um, I don't know. What else? Rolling the dice was a fun one. Tips on drawing hair seems to be the one that's got the most um, of these past 15 or 16 that we've done. Uh, that kind of gives me a, a good signal of, let's see, the people like the dice game. What else? What else? Oh, the old photos one. That's doing pretty good at 136. So I just kind of like to look and see like what people are enjoying, which prompts you like um, to do. And that kind of helps guide me with what, what to draw next. But this was a fun one. This making faces out of random shapes is very similar to the scribble challenge, like, um, like Steph said. But, you know, today when you're at work and you're zoning out on a meeting or something, draw some random shapes, you know, challenge yourself to make them look like people. And that's it. I think that's it for today. Don't feel oversaturated with or overwhelmed by competition. And that's it, guys. I'm going to call this a stream get to work and I'll see everyone or I'll see some of you at 830 over on TikTok on the um the V friends TikTok. I'll be drawing comics here in about an hour. So we will see you soon. Draw today. Make sure you draw every day. We'll see you guys.